Lindsay and Lori Harvey, they're heating things up in Italy. Notice her arm is on the back of his chair. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, Celebrity For You. In the realm of celebrity gossip, scandals often surface like turbulent waves, revealing shocking tales that captivate public attention. The latest controversy involves Laurie Harvey and a jaw-dropping claim that alleges did his involvement in unsettling activities with his own son. The scandalous narrative, woven with elements of exploitation, takes a dark turn as rumors circulate about the sordid incidents, including allegations of coercion threesomes and more. As the spotlight shines on this explosive revelation, the boundaries between truth and sensationalism blur, leaving the audience both intrigued and appalled by the unfolding drama in the high-stakes world of the rich and famous. Picture this, Laurie and Diddy heating things up in Italy. You can't miss it, her arm casually draped over the back of his chair. Now, this Diddy drama is like a roller coaster that never ends. Each day brings some fresh tea, and Laurie Harvey, Steve Harvey's daughter, has thrown in her two cents. There's this whole thing about Diddy allegedly pulling some shady moves, like pimping her out to his own son. I know it's crazy, but every time a new story drops about Diddy, you can't help but wonder, what now? Laurie Harvey, the 22-year-old stepdaughter of Steve Harvey, is right in the middle of it all in New York, looking happy and cozy with Diddy, who seems a bit nervous to be honest. They haven't spilled the beans on their relationship, but those PDA pics don't lie, cuddly vibes not just in private but in front of Laurie's folks, Steve and Marjorie. Now, what makes this whole thing weirder than weird? The crazy age gap. I mean, Diddy is almost three decades older than Laurie. Plus, he was already in dad mode when she was born. Strange, right? And wait for it, Laurie was super close to Diddy's late ex, Kim Porter. Like, she even called Kim Mama in a now-deleted Insta post after Kim passed away. Fast forward a bit and Laurie is getting cozy with Diddy. Oh, did I mention Steve Harvey? The relationship guru was cool with it. Yep, yeah, it's kind of creepy, especially with all that stuff coming out about Diddy. Now, Laurie seemingly dropped hints that Diddy not only groomed her, but allegedly pimped her out to his son. Crazy, right? Now, Laurie Harvey and her rumored flings with both Diddy and his son Justin. It's not your usual celebrity gossip. Things get even more interesting when you dive into Laurie's connections with the Combs family. She was tight with Kim Porter, Diddy's ex, and the mom of three kids who passed away suddenly in 2018. Laurie's out and about looking cozy with Diddy just a few months later. Laurie's been up front saying she didn't date both Diddy and Justin, but she left us hanging on whether it was just the dad in the picture. Here's where it gets even weirder. Laurie used to call Kim Porter Diddy's ex-mama, raising serious questions about their boundaries. Now, here's where the plot thickens. Kim's ex-husband, Al, publicly called her death murder in a now-deleted post, but wait, it doesn't stop there. Al faced some major health issues just months after questioning the official cause of King's death. I'm talking multiple organ failure and a two-month coma. Super eerie, right? Now, a fresh batch of rumors is dragging Laurie Harvey into the mix, spinning this dark tale of betrayal. Now, let's talk about this seriously weird timeline. Laurie Harvey posts on Instagram, calling Kim Porter mama. Then a few months later, she's in a whirlwind romance with Diddy. Everywhere, together, events, vacations, you name it. There's even buzz about a possible pregnancy. Now, what makes this wild is thinking about Kim's struggle with Diddy. Rumors of Laurie and Diddy started buzzing online in early 2019, just months after Kim passed away. In March 2019, there's a report of them at a reggae music festival in Miami. Laurie 22 and Diddy a cool 50. Footage spreads denying any romance, but throughout the summer of 2019, they're spotted together all over the place. Late night strolls in NYC and whatnot. In July 2019, someone close to Laurie spilled the beans to Hollywood life, saying Laurie and Diddy got tight after killing Porter's passing. But it's all supposed to be on the platonic side. Now, however, three months after Kim's passing, Diddy and Laurie hit up a reggae festival and then rolled into a strip club in Atlanta. Diddy making it rain all night, TMZ reports. Grieving is personal, but how's Diddy throwing down at strip clubs, claiming it's the toughest time of his life? Now Diddy's getting the villain treatment, but Laurie's part in the story has people scratching their heads. There's even talks about possible threesomes in the mix. And here's the kicker, Laurie herself addresses the rumors saying it's all made up because I'm so quiet. There have been so many stories made up about me. 
I've heard. I've dated a father and son before. Not true. Talk about a roller coaster of a gossip story. So funny because there's because I'm so quiet. Yeah. There's been so many stories that have yeah. been made up about me. Like, I've heard I've dated a father and son before. Not First things first, there's no proof that Laurie and Justin Combs actually dated. They were just a couple of parties together. No biggie. Back in January, Laurie was doing the rounds with her ex Darnell and Idris and straight up told E! News in an interview that she wasn't dating the Combs father-son duo. Technically, she didn't say she was dating just the dad. But here's the twist. E! deleted that interview from their YouTube channel. Someone's PR team is clearly on a cleanup mission. Now, we've all heard the stories about Diddy's alleged mistreatment of Kim, emotional abuse, control issues, even vicious beatings. It's tough to basically believe Laurie was totally clueless about the rumors, given everyone in those circles knew how toxic Diddy was to Kim. And for years, there have been rumors that Diddy might have had a hand in Kim's death. There's talk about a tell-all book by Kim that spills all the beans, but Diddy won't let it see the light of day. The book allegedly dives into the nitty-gritty, exposing Diddy's escapades, physical altercations, mind games, and some intimate details. Sadly, Kim has passed away, and it seems like the book might never come out. Now, to be clear, putting the blame on Laurie for Kim's situation wouldn't be cool, no doubt. Diddy's taking the top spot as the main bad guy in all the drama. Still, it's a shocker to think that Laurie might have stepped into some tricky territory, possibly betraying Kim's trust by getting involved with Diddy. It is crucial to approach sensationalized headlines and gossip with a discerning eye, especially when it involves serious allegations. The claims of exploitation and non-consensual activities and familial involvement are serious accusations that demand careful consideration and verification before drawing any conclusions. Without concrete evidence or credible sources, to substantiate these allegations, it's essential to treat such content with skepticism and avoid spreading unverified information. Baseless rumors and unfounded accusations can harm reputations and perpetuate harmful narratives without any basis in truth. It's important to remember that individuals mentioned in these stories are real people with lives, emotions, and consequences for false accusations. In the age of social media and online platforms, it's imperative for users to exercise responsibility in consuming and sharing information. The impact of spreading unverified or misleading content can be significant, not only on the individuals involved, but also on the broader societal discourse. As consumers of media, we should prioritize critical thinking, fact-checking, and responsible sharing. It's essential to seek out reliable sources and verified information. Uh, well, in the spirit of fostering a more responsible online community, we encourage our audience to engage in thoughtful discussions, share verified information, and promote a culture of integrity in online spaces. Don't forget to like this video if you found the discussion insightful. Comment with your perspectives and subscribe to our channel, Celebrity For You, for more engaging content. Thank you for being a part of a community that values truth, integrity, and respectful dialogue.